What's going on guys, Orza here and welcome back to a brand new video. So today we have got the new flashback player SBC card that EA just released and it is going to be N'Golo Kante. Now he's a card that definitely looks good, but he's a card that looks very, very expensive as well. But if we are comparing the stats on this card compared to the gold card, we are looking at a plus four to pace, a plus one to dribbling, a minus five to defending, a minus six to physicals and a plus two to passing as well the shooting hasn't been touched but it is what it is you know you, i doubt you're really going to get this guy in plenty of shooting opportunities if we do we'll give it a go why not but he's still a five foot six player he still has got high high work rates he's got two star skill moves and he has got a three star weak foot now this is the thing with the chem style you might want to go for an anchor chem style on this card because of how low the aggression has been decreased let's say like the aggression has gone down minus 13 that ain't a joke because that's what makes N'Golo Kante who he actually is the fact that he's always fighting for the ball he's he's very aggressive towards you know his opponent let's say and he always comes out with it the fact that they've gave this N'Golo Kante 80 aggression I can kind of see him losing some 50 50s but I've still gone with the shadow chem style giving him an outrageous amount of pace so he has got 96 acceleration and 89 sprint speed so you can really tell that transition speed in that midfield is going to be unbelievable. Now, his shooting ability is the exact same. We all know how the gold card shoots. It's very, very inconsistent. Sometimes it goes in, but sometimes it hits rosette. There's no in between. Passing ability looking pretty decent, I would say, but not looking like anything crazy. Like, even the gold card is not anything crazy on the passing either. So, 76 vision, 80 short passing, 77 long passing. I would say it's more than enough if you're trying to keep stuff simple. Now, his dribbling ability, this is where I personally feel like I may notice a difference because he's got a plus three agility, a plus one balance, a plus one reactions, a plus three ball control, and a plus one to dribbling as well. Composure staying the exact same, but I do feel like he's going to feel better on the ball. Now, the defending stats. Defending stats have been hit by a good, good amount, okay? But this is the thing. The shadow chem style is still there to increase it. So with the shadow... It's looking perfectly fine. We all know it is. He's got 99 interceptions. He's got 87 defensive awareness, 97 standing tackling, and 97 slide tackling. With this shadow chem style, I honestly doubt you're really going to notice the difference between the tackling. Seriously. But the physicals, that's when you're going to notice it. Because, yeah, the stamina is still 98, which is things you'll have to see. But the aggression going down by 13 is huge. Literally huge. But when it comes down to the links, French... And he plays for Chelsea. We all know the Lynx is absolutely amazing. I've got Mbappe, Kempembe, and Varane. They get him on full chemistry. When it comes down to the positions, centre mid, CDM position, 4 2 3 1, 4 4 2. So let's get into the games. Cover that middle. There you go, Angola Kante. Well played. He's trying to make a run there already. We're going to go for ball roll. Nice twist and turns. And that seemed way faster. Hold up a second. Nice turns there. He's not feeling bad. Not feeling bad at all. Now, I wasn't expecting him to feel bad, right? But at the same time, I was not expecting him to feel that good. And that definitely did feel better than what his gold card felt. Just pass it across here. Good touch and turn. We're going to go for a fake shot here. I'm going to give this a go. See if this, these kind of passes are going to be able to happen. It wasn't a bad pass, to be fair. But when Lionel Messi's down the line, are we really going to win that header? Most likely not. Just simple expo into the middle. N'Golo Kante, I know you ain't got no heading ability, but there you go. Just take that touch. Get that acceleration going as well. And can I switch the ball? No, I cannot. Uh, I mean, it was on the freestyle weak foot, to be fair. But I still feel like those kind of passes with him are probably going to be quite inconsistent. I'm going to see if I can maybe chase him down with N'Golo Kante, just staying straight onto him. And look how fast he was to get onto the player there and actually come out with a ball. Well played. Nice turn. Can I get an acceleration there? No, I cannot. I overdid it 100%. Maybe I can get out to him here. There you go. That was a really good interception. Nice reach by, by him there as well. Wasn't expecting that reach, saying that he's five foot six. Take a touch, Angolo. Just move now. Fake shot this. Go for a simple RBX. And it's going to be working. This is what I mean. Those kind of simple passes there, he's going to easily, easily do. The only thing that I feel like is going to be questionable from him with the passing is the LB wise in behind that might be a little bit sticky let's say should we go for a long shot I kind of want to push him forward here and just go for a long shot here it's going to be green and it's not going to be that great of a shot which is kind of expected saying that his shooting stats aren't anything great 
There's a gap there. I'm going to try to cover that with Angolo. He transition speeds into that middle really quickly. And I went for a second man press there. And Angolo did actually help me out and tackle that person. And now we're actually on a quick counter. Should we go for one of those wild finesse shots? Why not? See if it goes in. And obviously it doesn't. <laughs> Edge of the box. Get that? Oh my god, he actually got that. Nice, well played. Keep it going. Use that strength just to hold off Martins. Can I use that pace to get in front of him? I'm actually impressed. Hold up a second. Nah, there you go. There's the eventually Martins actually catches up, which is expected. Saying Martins has got an outrageous amount of pace. I see Lionel Messi possibly getting in behind there. And that is actually an LBY. And look how good that pass is. Full roll into the middle. No, I was not meant to pass here. But you know what? We might as well give it a go. We might as well. That should not be going in. But guess what time it is? It's the 45th minute, so you can understand why it went in. Cover that middle. Nice, well played. You see how fast he is there to get out to his uh, to get out to his opponent there? It's really, really good for Mangolo. But the thing is, I also see that on a gold card. Smack it. Green? Okay, Angolo, all of a sudden you're turning into CR7 or shooting. What's happening here? I'm shocked these are going in. Trying to cover this. Actually, I can get out to him there. Nice. Well played. Really good slide tackle. As soon as I saw Bernardo Silva, by the way, take that big touch, I knew I could instantly get out to him. There's a gap there. I'm going to need to try to cover it. He turns me inside out. But look at the recovery. Look at the recovery. But Bernardo Silva is not going to get pushed off the ball there. And that's the thing, right? Saying that a gold card has got like a plus eight to strength. I felt like the gold card most likely would have came out with a ball in that occasion. Get out to him here. He's going to go in a straight line. No, he is not. Angolo is going to put him straight onto the ground. Get out to him here. He's going to go down, isn't he? There you go. Kante, once again, by the way, putting players onto the ground. I think that's like the third time he's actually put someone onto the ground after tackling. Get out to him here. Don't let him turn now. We allowed him to turn, but we're here. We're right here. That great recovery from Angolo, and he puts in another tackle. I'm kind of surprised how quick he actually got himself back into position. I thought in that hold attack, he was going to recover, but clearly not. Went out him. Just pass up. There you go. He's actually made a good run. Hold up a second. N'Golo Kante. On the weaker foot. The three-star weak foot. And it's not so great. Which is expected to be fair. Went out him. Pass that across. No. How have we screwed that up? Stay on him. He's going to try to draw past us. Look at the transition speed, by the way. You see how fast N'Golo Kante is moving left and right? That right there is unreal. And that cheeky ball roll, by the way. I see, ben I see you, Benzema. I see you. Can we, can we get an assist? Oh, no. I thought I screwed up. I thought that touch by Benzema was a little bit too far, but clearly not. This straight off kickoff. He's trying to kick off us, boys. Nah, Kante's not going to allow it. Keep going. Keep it going. There you go. Fight for it. Just pass it back here. That's a nice pass from Benzema. Oh my God. This guy has got the new Angolo Kante as well. And he's putting a solid tackle there. To be fair though, my Kante, he didn't take the greatest of touches. Just pass it to the edge there. He really likes to go forward, by the way. Should we give it another go? That's what I was expecting. That right there is what I was expecting Kante to do every time I went for a long shot. But somehow, we've got two long shot goals of him. Pass it. There you go. Well played. Going to fake shot this. Turn and just smack it all the way to the other side. Lionel Messi. Can you run onto it? It's not a bad ball. This is the thing, right? That's like two out of three times that pass is actually work so his passing ability when it goes when it comes down to like the lby's they do work but they're not the most consistent thing but i do feel like if it's literally wide open he's definitely going to be able to do those kind of passes and golo is actually tracking that pretty well look at that he's tracking all the way down even with 82 defensive awareness as a base stat and you know the shadow chems are giving him 87 defensive awareness he's actually done really well to detract the player and the strength in that occasion against cole it wasn't the greatest honestly that's the only like big difference i am actually noticing between uh the gold card and this card the strength literally that's it maybe step towards him here he wants that pass up doesn't he no we was fast to transition all the way on the other side of him but well, we wasn't able to get the ball. But Kante does recover once again and actually puts in that tackle. And we could get him another assist here. Can we do it? Yes. Do you? Come on, Benzema. Green? Nah, he moved keeper. Okay, all right. Pass to the edge. And we're going to give it another go. Come on, Kante. Green? No way. It's close. The thing is, right, with these kind of long shots, you're expecting it to go nowhere near the goal. But apparently, if you green them, they have a chance of going in. Put a gap, surely, right? There you go. N'Golo Kante out to him, and he puts in a very, very nice block. There's some occasions where I must admit, if I had like a 
let's say a bulkier player, a player that's got a bigger body type and a player that is just in general taller, I do notice that sometimes I can put in a better block, but in Golo Kante right now, he's doing perfectly fine. He's putting the block after block after block and he is putting some very good interceptions in. So it is time to review and we ended up playing two games with Kante. We scored two goals and we also came out with a single assist as well. Somehow we scored two goals, by the way. Like the shooting stats is nothing different to the gold card, but green time finesse shot, power shot green timed as well, flying into the back of the net. I mean, should it happen? No, but I'll happily take it. Now, honestly, the only things I noticed that was a big difference between the two cards is the strength and aggression. That is literally it. Other than that, defending ability, just as good. Even though the defending went down by a good amount. Now, we're talking about minus eight to, to defensive awareness, minus six to standing tackling, minus four to slide tackling. I didn't notice the difference between the two. It's because you got the shadow chem style applied. It's simple as that. Like, everything is still good to go. You got 97 standing tackling. You got 87 defensive awareness. You got 97 slide tackling as well. Honestly, defending wise, I didn't notice the difference. It's just when it comes down to like the strength and aggression on Angola Kante, the gold card is 100%. 100% it is better. Because there were certain occasions I got Kante in and I was like, hold up a second. If, if he had that 93 aggression like he had on that gold card, I can guarantee you he will be coming out with a ball. But with this card, he was really, really trying to fight for it. He's still a fighter, no doubt about it. But you can tell the gold card has got better strength and definitely better aggression. Other than that, though, honestly, this card is not bad. It really isn't. It's still the N'Golo Kante that we know. Getting really fast out to the player, putting in tackles, putting in interceptions, tracking players over and over and over again. It's literally the exact same card, let's say, other than the physicals. That's literally it. And for the price difference, we're talking about a gold card, which is going for around 400 thousand coins and we're comparing it to a flashback SBC card I understand obviously if you go buy the gold card you can go ahead and sell it on rather than this one you you know you put in your coins you're never going to get it back but it's 275k 270 I believe it's worth it I really really do as I said man the only things you're going to notice is the strength and the aggression other than that the dribbling, I would say, is slightly better on this card. The passing ability, they're near enough the exact same. And the pace as well, I would honestly say they're near enough the exact same. Like, even though it's a plus four on acceleration, a plus four sprint speed on this card, I barely noticed it. I'm going to be honest. He was still extremely fast to get out to the player. The transition speed was still very, very good. Which card would I personally prefer? I would honestly say the gold card still because of that strength and aggression. But for 275k, it's a perfectly, perfectly good card and it is worth it. But I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like, make sure to leave a comment. But for now, peace.